the reality is when we got the truck, we asked for records. There were none. We even asked, what type of oil does it take? He didn't know. Whatever you want to use, right? So when the crack break happened, he gave us his mechanic's information. Oh, take it over there. He will work with you. And the mechanic changed the entire brakes for $510. But then charged you. We had to pay for it. Right, okay. We had just got the truck. So for you to say that, we're gonna do reasonable. He's a trucker, right? We already had a truck prior to that. We wanted to move into leasing instead of buying. All right. And we had hoped that the truck was gonna be good. Hold on, I wasn't. have to open it up. I wanna ask you one question. Do you think I'm looking at this the right way when I'm talking about like they have to be repaired over a length of time and he just happened to come in? And please feel free to tell me if I'm missing the point. I I'm trying to understand. I believe that when you started speaking, you were yeah. making the best point. That oh, is, well, thank you. why do we have to pay for all of the wear and okay. tear that you lease to other people? So I know, I know the plaintiff disagrees, that. but you would kind of explain it the way I do. Yeah. Okay, Judge Coyero. What repairs that you paid for that you contend the plaintiff should be reimbursing you for? The biggest one is Exhibity. we were hauling a load to Michigan, and as we go through South Dakota, we stop. The only thing that he told us was wrong with the truck was that, oh, I think it had bad DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, okay. and he said that the check engine light will come on, but it will go back off. Okay. You'll be fine. So now, as we're getting into it, because we're like, yay, we're gonna make money, we got a good truck, right? That's what we thought. So we get there, and now we're hauling a load that we wanna get paid for, and we break down in the middle of nowhere. What, what broke down? The engine. What else besides the knock sensor? How much did that cost? If you look at our receipt, it's itemized where the knock sensor with the towing, with the parts was uh, $3,700. What other repairs you contend you made we had that to get really the brakes. should be on the plane? It should be on him for the yeah, brakes because yeah. he never even made sure the brakes were inspected. He yeah, said that he yeah. walked the truck yeah. with them. No, he did not. All yeah. we did was make sure there wasn't nothing And how much broke. were the brakes? The brakes were $510. And not to mention the airbags were out. What else? What else did you do? I replaced three airbags. And then when we took it to the TA, we had to get an inspection. Inspector. And then the things that they found that were okay. faulty, we had to repair those things Good. for about $320. Okay, and why don't you think you're responsible? Tell me. If Mr. that Peters. was the case of being responsible for everything that went wrong with the vehicle, you wouldn't be in Yeah, but that's not the point we're talking We're talking about everything breaks down on my watch. I'm responsible for that. Is that fair? Well, Your Honor, if the light is on, why would you take possession of a vehicle? Because you told them that that's the way it is and it'll be all right. No, he it knows. It comes on and it goes off. As a truck driver, you go through scales. CHP does inspections. We all, truck drivers, professional truck drivers, is scared of the scales. You don't want nothing to go wrong at a scale. So how would I know if it goes on and off? If he said it didn't happen on his watch, how would I know they said it comes on like it did? And it, and it goes off. I'm, okay. I'm sorry, how do you calculate the lost wages, Mr. Anderson? The receipts of repair. So I didn't put them all in because it's because it's only gonna go up to a certain amount of dollars anyways. All right, okay. so Just briefly, there are, there are a lot of fees for towing because you broke down in the middle of nowhere in South Dakota. And I just wanted to show these photographs. I mean, you really were stuck in the middle of nowhere. Very small town is almost like the base hotel. The guy who told me, he owned everything. He owned pretty much the town. Yeah. Picked me up smiling because I had no choice but to stay there and let him tow it and fix it. <laughs> right, because you had really no choice because you were stuck right. in the middle of yeah. nowhere. Yeah. All right. Okay. The parties are excused while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you both. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, we've reached a verdict. We believe that Judge Juarez aptly described how we are to analyze the apportionment of the repairs and the damages in this case. So we find that as far as the rent is concerned, you do owe the plaintiff $3,000 rent for December. However, we find that, Mr. Jackson, you are responsible for damages or repairs that the defendant had to incur in order to make the truck operable, and it wouldn't be fair if he had to pay for wear and tear on your vehicle under these circumstances. So we will deduct $3,000 from the $5,404 in repairs that brings the net to $2,404 in the favor of the defendant. Thank you both very much. It's a verdict of the court.